Hello, today I'm going to be doing part one of a multi-part series uh, covering how to edit The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with Zscream. Um, so if you're unfamiliar, Zscream is an editor for The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. It is the you know primary replacement to Hyrule Magic, which is what most uh, Legend of Zelda ROM hackers have used for years. I have an old tutorial series on Hyrule Magic. And I'm now recommending you don't use it anymore. Um, Hyrule Magic's very old. It's very buggy. Um, whereas Zscreen's pretty new. It's still being actively worked on. There's a lot of time investment in this program. And it's much better um, as a result. Um, it works more like a traditional editor. A uh, big improvement is it allows 32 or, you know, it gets rid of the 32 by 32 restriction on overworld editing so instead of having to draw in these big tiles here you can now draw in these 16 by 16 tiles it gives you much more versatility with what you want to do with your overworld um, I think a lot of people will appreciate that so first thing I'll go over in this episode is just some basics about the overworld editor up here is your tool strip with all of your uh, different abilities you have your undo and redo for when you're working on things you can very easily retrack, change, redo, undo. Um, you have your entrance editor, so this allows you to change the interiors for the dungeons, and we'll get into dungeons in another video. Uh, exits are also necessary for certain areas to be able to exit them properly. You have your item editor for uh, things like uh, you know, like these rupees and things like you know, random items. You have your sprite mode for NPCs and enemies. We have our transport mode for fly locations and whirlpools. Overlay for like dynamic events and you know special things like that. Um, and you can switch between the different worlds and see like the um, the different like graphic sets. Um, there's also this um, what's it called? The gravestones editing that's handy here we have the ability to search for tiles so in the new 16 by 16 tile format um, there is still a limit it's about 800 something unique tiles so this system is handy for seeing the number of occurrences of a single tile and whether or not you can use it in a certain place and edit it over here and um, with this icon here you can export your map to PNG so this allows you to see a big nice pretty image of your overworlds um, that's really handy for sharing um, you have this large map icon this allows you to change like um, a big map like this into four small maps and you can change it right back you can change the mosaic transition so if two areas have different graphics say you were to you know for example these two have a mosaic because the special forest graphics would not work out here so mosaic is good when you have conflicting graphics like that and you can tell based on the graphics number for the area and uh, what that value is whether or not they may uh, have any um, issues transitioning so like this has a different graphics value than that and um, there are a lot of different uh, abilities and features and things like this uh, up here some of the more useful ones are like clearing all of the items and sprites things like that that'll help you if you want to start brand new and fresh and um, you know if you're in that position then you'd want to edit make unique tiles you can actually double click over here to open this tile 16 editor and this gives you the ability to choose from all the graphics in your current graphics set um, with all the different palettes in your current palette set to build all your different 16 by 16 tiles and their representation um, for the the specific map that you're working on um, so let me kind of get into the mechanics actually of the draw tool so you can right click onto something to select that icon um, you can also just uh, left click over here and you can select something from this section over here this is handy for searching for tiles in the main graphics set we also have a scratch pad um, which allows you to take like pre-made stuff plop it in or say you want to take something you're working on and it doesn't quite fit yet you can save it over here that's very handy for uh, for ROM hackers who don't want to you know say your overworld's getting close to being finished 
this is very handy for for that type of uh, you know working on bigger projects and getting the tiles ready somewhere um, so back to this tile 16 editor While this may look like a lot at first, it's actually not terribly difficult to start making pretty unique things on your own. Um, you have control of the X and Y, the priority, whether or not it appears in front of Link. You can very easily make changes to one specific tile or maybe even a multitude of tiles and see the changes reflected in the game after it updates. So let's like update this. We'll make some more dirt. And you'll see over here it instantly updates and uh, reflects my changes and that's I mean that's basically the the gist of it like you can change the palette let's say we'll go over here and now we'll just put this like random pink thing in the tree I don't know and now that's uh, gonna be reflected right there and let's see X a Y you can't rotate so you can change the palette and select from all these. It also includes like the sprites down here, but traditionally you're just going to be using your graphics set here to build tiles over here. Oh yeah, and another really handy thing, for example, um, collision. So like this fence has a uh, collision data of 27 there um, let's see something that's like got a solid one that's a one block so this means link can't walk through it versus on like a grass tile let's see aftermath of picking things up over here you have normal tiles so like on the uh, the dirt normal tile no interaction link can walk right over it you got water shallow water um, different ways that inter link can interact with tiles and um, besides that that's, that's basically all you need really to get started with custom tile editing um, like I said this map export this is really useful the overlay editing is really only um, used for a couple parts of the game but it can definitely be useful um, when used properly. Let me think, what else have I missed? Yeah, the, um, the, overlay, the overlays include rock cave entrances, Hyrule Castle door, uh, certain special events. I think. Uh, oh yeah, here, right there. There's one that, there's an overlay that changes um staircases under the rocks those are overlays that are are useful um but yeah generally uh, also i did not show the ability right click and you can like select a large area and quickly move it this is very handy for creating overworlds quickly um and in the next video we'll go over more in depth things like entrances sprites and like tr like the uh the flying like the transport things of that nature um and kind of uh, answer any questions people have about overworld editing um i recommend you download the program and try it out and see for yourself what you think of it i have found myself to really like it um i switched to z scream primarily for Oracle of Secrets a couple of years ago it's been at this point and yeah I've never looked back it's very useful and it's uh, you know um, still being actively worked on unlike Hyro Magic and Hyro Magic would corrupt your game this uh, not not gonna corrupt your game at least not on a scale that uh, Hyro Magic ever did if there's ever any issues you can reach right out to the developers I'll include a link to the Discord for Zscream as well as a link to the GitHub. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the program that I can address. Um, I know I may have kind of zipped through this all. Some of it might not be super clear to people who haven't already, you know, used Hyrule Magic before. So let me know if there's anything I can do to make things more, you know, beginner friendly. But personally, I think you can download the program 
and kind of experiment and see for yourself how versatile it can be and how realistic it is to make your own um, very unique Legend of Zelda adventure. So yeah, I will have part two out uh, sometime soon. I'm, uh, I'm done with school now, so I have a bit more time. About a month I get to work on like ROM hacking and YouTube videos. So yeah, uh, bye bye